So let's go ahead and move into the Bills. Ah, the Buffalo Bills needed an edge rusher. They needed wide receiver. They needed a running back, which I think they just needed one, uh, running back depth more so than anything. Uh, their over-under right now is eight and a half wins for the regular season win total. I, so, you know what, how about, do you want to start off or you want me to just go through the picks? Because they didn't have a ton of them. Are you going to go through the, if you're going to go through all the picks, just do let's, that real let's quick. Let's just go ahead and roll through that. They, edge rusher, A.J. Epinesa, they got at 54. He was second round pick out of Iowa. Uh, I think that was a steal. Um, his his combine numbers hurt him, but. We'll just run through the picks and yeah. then we'll, then we'll uh, ask him. Running back, Zach Moss out of Utah. Wide receiver, Gabriel Davis out of UCF was a fourth round pick. Fifth round, they took Jake Fromm, quarterback out of Georgia. Sixth round, kicker Tyler Bass out of Georgia Southern. Round six, they got uh, wide receiver Isaiah Hodgins out of Oregon State. And round seven, cornerback Dane Jackson out of Pittsburgh. Um, all in all, I I liked what they did here. Um, I You you think very highly. Let's, let's go ahead and talk about the highest profile guy, which would be Jake Fromm. His biggest issue is he has got tiny hands, right? And, and while that's not that big of an issue at Georgia... When you're playing in Buffalo in the cold, that could be a problem. So, I, I'm i not as high on him in this situation. Although, I could still see him being a better quarterback than Josh Allen. Uh, I don't think he's great. I don't think he's got any of the measurables that would make you think that he's a fantastic quarterback. But one thing he does have that Josh Allen does not is he does not turn the football over. So, you know. Here's I, what I want for my quarterback from the Buffalo Bills. Okay. I think the Buffalo Bills could easily be – here's the thing. Here's what I need from the quarterback. I need him to be Brad Johnson. I need him to be Trent Dilfer. Yeah. Don't turn the football over. Don't lose the football game. Make one or two plays in the whole game. That's it. Yeah. That's it. I don't need you to run a two-minute offense every drive, every year, and, and, and win the game, all right? What makes, what makes Tom great is the fact that he stresses you out 80% of the game, but you know he's coming back. Yeah. Okay. Peyton Manning had that about. Like they didn't kick the shit out of a lot of people, but they were never out of it. Atlanta, looking at you. Um, <laughs> I think the Bills are a really good football team from top to bottom. Sean McDermott they need is a, a trigger man. He's an incredible that coach. Just won't lose the football game. Yeah. Uh, McKinnon jumped in. This is about the Dolphins, by the way. I was at the Chiefs game when the Dolphins beat the Pats, and the whole stadium started chanting, let's go Dolphins, and yelling Fitz Magic." He said it was nuts. Uh, hell, there's a petition going around for him to come beat the drum in Kansas City during one of the games this year, which would be hilarious if, <laughs> if that actually happened. Because, <laughs> hey, the Chiefs needed that to be able to get the number two seed. I know. I mean, I know. If, if, they, if the Pats win that game, you got to wonder, do the Chiefs even make the Super Bowl? I mean, obviously, it's changes. all revisionist history. A lot of changes. Well, yeah, so, anyway, we go back. But, yeah. Um, I like this pick, though. I like I, – so, we'll go down. I like Epinesa a lot. Yeah. So, first, his measurable first pick, where was it? Oh, it, it was getting Stefan Diggs. Yeah. Hell yeah, of they, a first-round pick. Yeah, they, they did um, all right. And yeah, pretty good. I like Zach Moss a lot. Yeah, a lot. agreed. You made me watch a lot of Utah football last year. Way more than I wanted to. And <laughs> – Listen, this Moss guy was good. the biggest. This guy was the biggest thing the offense had. Oh, he was he was about the only thing. I I think the quarterback yeah. Tyler Huntley, like he's not uh, undrafted free agent. I forget where he went now, but nah. there's a chance he could make a roster. Uh, but but Moss was was the offense. Moss was the offense. Yeah, Moss was the offense. This kid's good, and they already have a really good running game. The fact they needed running back. That's somebody who's been watching the Patriots play a lot and thinks yeah. you got to have seven of them or you can't win. Yeah. Um. Gabriel Davis and, and then, from Central Florida. And then Gabriel Davis, I fast, thought fast. this dude has played in meaningful football games in college football. Oh, we we have seen him numerous times at Central, and he can fly. Yes. He can take the yes. top off the defense easily. So, and yeah, then I, I love the Jake Fromm pick because I think you're going to know is Fromm the guy or not. Pretty, I just want competition. At least yeah. now, Josh Allen has to show up for work and know, I got to go. I got to yeah. go. If I play like I played against Houston in that playoff game, yes, it was a playoff game. So the fact that we made the playoffs is a good thing. If I play like that, I'm going to lose my job because there's somebody behind me, and last year there was a no-name behind me. Yeah. 
Uh, what what do you think about the kicker here? Because uh, we talked about this. I hate, I hate the idea. All four of these teams wasting a draft pick when they could have taken somebody to swing a fence at. Okay, they yeah. just could have. It. Uh, I want to swing the bat. Tyler Bass was the second ranked kicker out of college last year. Um, the first one was Rodrigo Blankenship, and did did Rodrigo even get drafted? Who did he? Nope. Get? Which is crazy. Rodrigo was not the first. Everybody that had a draft board that I was watching the draft go through had had this guy as number one and the Patriots kicker number two. That's interesting. That is that's very interesting. That's I'm trying. Blankenship to wasn't the top. He was the third, I think. But he went to Georgia. These other two kids went to small schools. We know him because he played at Georgia. Yeah. And he, I mean, that's not to say that Rodrigo can't kick, but Tyler Bass was. Most kickers don't get drafted. I bet a lot of Georgia Southern games last year. Uh, so you know that, that I, I saw him kick multiple times. I don't know that I ever saw him miss a kick. Like, I, I don't think I ever saw him miss. And he, I mean, he killed the ball. The, the dude fine. killed it. But he, I, I still don't know that he's worth a six round pick. My my problem with taking a kicker from Georgia Southern is, is show me a high pressure situation where he actually had to kick the ball, okay? Because they didn't play in a single game where there was eighty thousand people at, and every eye on the TV was white. At least Blankenship had that. All that's, right? it, that's true. Blankenship had to nut up and go kick the football in big, meaningful football games, to where if he misses, it costs his team a game, and he's the reason they lost the South Carolina game. Yeah, hundred percent. Hundred percent. Uh, at least he's got experience doing that. Yeah. Uh, the last two picks that they had: wide receiver Isaiah Hodgins out of Oregon State and cornerback Dane Jones, or sorry, Dane Jackson out of Pittsburgh. Um, those are the two kind of flyers that you would like to see a team. This is biting now. I don't know anything about these guys, but you're just biting. You're just taking you, a swing, man. You're you happy. and I, you and I watched Hodgins uh, in the first game of the year. We were sitting at Hollywood Casino. Watching Oklahoma State and Oregon State, and and the kid was lighting it up. Uh, yep. in in that offense, in Jonathan Smith's offense at Oregon State, he was legit. However, that's one of those kind of air raid offenses. You don't. He doesn't have all the measurables. He's not like a, a massive guy. He's not the fastest guy in the world, but he's a legit receiver. Like you know, he can catch the ball. You know, he can get the ball in the end zone. Um, yeah, and then same thing. Look, Dane Dane Jackson out of Pittsburgh. Like you know, he's coming from a good defensive scheme. You know that he he can uh, he can handle excuse me complex defenses because I mean that's exactly what they want, do there. I want an athlete Narduzzi that, runs a complex that measures team. well and might be smart and and we can just try it and maybe maybe they're the next star and maybe they're not but I, but it's worth a the, shot yeah if you're the best kicker in the in the history of the game okay that's that's fantastic you're still not worth if the your top team two, eight, is not good picks. enough to be in meaningful games where you have to make meaningful kicks then nobody knows your name yeah I mean if Steve Gaskowski or 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 um, Adam Vinatieri went to Detroit instead of the Patriots nobody knows his name he'd be the greatest kicker in the world nobody knows his name nobody cares yeah you're right because you're not kicking in meaningful games. Uh, Michael jumps in. Uh, well, before we answer his question, um, I I like what the Bills did here. Oh, I do, I do too. I, I think I'm, they I'm, had. It was a but I like this trip. front office, and I have for the last couple of years. I told yeah. you that it, they they have. I didn't like the improved. Josh Allen pick, but I've liked everything else, and I like the way they build the team. Yeah, I I agree. So with that, uh, winner and loser. Um, I think the Pats were the loser. Yeah, I think so too. I I think I like. I think I like what the Dolphins did more than the Bills. I would too. I'd uh, say they, that. Well, they, they had, had a lot more picks. That's to what do I was going to say. They and had, that's, that's the other thing is it's hard to it's hard to parse out the fact they they got a lot, but they had a lot to get. Yeah, they they certainly did, and I mean they they gave up a lot to get those picks. They wanted draft capital, they got it. So, um, Michael ended up, and we'll close out with this: Are the Pats the favorite to win that division? If not, who? I would have to say you you have to favor them. The uh, last I saw, and I don't remember when I looked they, at this. They are because the Pats have. It, it was minus 120. It was the lowest odds they've ever been. It's basically yeah. a, an even bet right now. Wait, so the, the win total for the Pats is nine. The win total for the Bills is eight and a half. Um, so if you just go based on that, like if you're if you're going Vegas, yeah, the Pats are the favorite. Uh, are they our favorite to win the division? 
Yeah, I think so. Until somebody knocks Bill off. I mean, what have they won it? Fourteen straight years, something like that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you the truth, and this is the fact of it. Show me a quarterback because this division has just printed crap when it comes to the quarterback position. Josh Allen's not winning this division over Bill Belichick. I don't care who our quarterback is. I, I think he's probably right. defense to make that kid look stupid every week. Yeah, it, look, it, the Dolphins got Tua. I, he ain't ready this year, so you know, I mean, it, he could eventually. Uh, move into that. I believe it when but, I see it because once again, I've yeah. I've, I've seen great quarterbacks be. T- Everybody said Sam Darnold was going to be the guy. Right? Uh, okay, that's fine. Yeah. Keep keep bringing them on, and and it's not who's playing quarterback for the Patriots anymore. It's Bill Belichick's going to make your guy look stupid. Yes, he I makes mean, really good quarterbacks look it, mediocre it's, sometimes. It's, it's where right? he, yeah, it's where the uh, it's where that whole thing the the Sam Darnold meme came from. Like I'm seeing ghosts. Yes. Same thing. Yes. He uh, made a professional athlete admit on the sidelines, I don't even know what I'm looking at. It's that complicated. Yeah. What they throw at you. I'm not smart enough to watch it and be able to explain it or break it down. I've just watched the results for 20 years. Yeah. Michael uh, jumped in. He said, I take Buffalo, Miami, Pats, Jets, finish. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I. I just I, I don't buy that. If you would bet Miami to win the division this year over the Patriots, you're not paying attention to football. Yeah, it's they're they're not ready yet. They're, they're still a long way away. I I I want Miami to get better. I like Flores a lot. Can they win a game? Sure. Can they win the division? And once again, show me a quarterback that can go in New England and consistently win. I I don't I hadn't seen it. I'm not going to say that I expect it anytime soon. So there you go. I think it'll be the Pats for now. Um. I think let's go wrap it up. Anything yep, else we did? So, Michael said, thanks, fellas. Great chatting with you. We appreciate it, Michael. Appreciate Thank you, you for hopping right. in. Everybody else that jumped in on the chat, we appreciate you as well. You guys have been fantastic. Um, I think that's going to wrap. Is there anything else we need to hit? Nope. Is it? That, yeah, here. that works for me. All right. You guys know what to do. Go to winningcureseverything.com. Make sure you subscribe at any of the locations at which you can subscribe. If not, go over to winningcureseverything.com. It's got everything over there for you. And, uh, and you can make sure and leave nice reviews on your podcast apps or whatever the video platforms are that you are watching on. We definitely appreciate that. All you guys that chatted, make sure you share out the show with your buddies. Tell everybody you know about it. We would love to see the numbers continue to grow, and they, uh, they have done so over the past few months uh, while we were in this quarantine for sure. Thank you all for jumping in. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. And we will uh, we'll be back tomorrow.